Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I made my toilet paper chicken for dollhouse food. Now this is going to be a chicken breast that you can cut up and do slices with, much like a Thanksgiving turkey. So you could do the same thing for that as well. Now here is the mixture that I'm using. This is the same exact mixture that I used when I showed you in my other video how to do the toilet paper clay. The only difference is I didn't add plaster to this one. This is just a toilet paper, flour, the glue, the coloring for the um, paint, which is just acrylic, and water. Mixed it all together, and now I'm just taking bits and pieces and joining it together and kind of just pressing it on top and folding it and rolling it. Once you have it all mixed up to the way that you want to have it done, then you want to blend it together by pressing it and pulling it apart and putting it back on top of each other. That's going to blend the coloring together but not mix it completely. This will allow some marbling in it. Now I know chicken really doesn't have marbling in it like you're seeing in this image. But when it gets to the point where it's dry, it'll give it a little bit lighter of a hue in the different areas. Which is going to help you so you don't have to paint it. But... Anyway, you want to roll this and kind of like get it to the shape that you want. Now, I'm pretty much making it like a chicken breast. Or as I said, you could use it as a turkey breast. Um, so after that, you have the shape that you want. Put it on your cutting board. And if you like these cutting boards, I do have the digital file available on my shop. So that you can use it for your laser or for your Cricut or whatever machine that you have that accepts PDF and SVG files. All right, now I'm just using a wired brush and I'm giving it a little bit of texture. Not to where it's got like all these holes in it or anything like that because I will flatten them just slightly with my finger. But just enough to give it some indentation because you don't want it to be perfectly round. Now, once you've done that and you have it the way you want it, then you wait for it to dry. Now this is a different one by the way, but same technique, just smaller. I'm using an X-Acto knife and I'm cutting it. And it really is not difficult to cut, but this X-Acto knife is extremely dull and the new ones won't be in the mail for another three weeks. I don't know why Amazon is taking forever to ship them, but you know, I guess that's what it is, it is. So, um, when they get here, I'll have a much better time with a different X-Acto blade. But anyway, here it is with the chicken sliced. And you can do whatever you want with this. You can kind of slice it up. You can wrap more toilet paper around it once it's set up a little bit. And then just take your finger and dab some water on it. And then that'll give it texture on the outside if you don't want to do the little brush that you have. And then once you have it set to the where it's covering the entire thing and it's completely dry, then you want to take some watered down acrylic paint in like a tan or a brown and then go over top of this and then dab it off. That way you have a little bit of cooked um, hint to the outside of it. And then that's all I did. All right, so. Here it is finished while it's drying and then um, that's it. That was a quick tutorial, super easy, very simple. The recipe for that is on the other video. I'll try to remember to put a link below for that. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a question, suggestion, or comment below and have a wonderful, wonderful day.